don't have to look far to encounter this common request. Please recycle. I saw the message yesterday as I walked past a dumpster. But strangely enough, our environmental efforts are punished when we recycle a computer. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Did you know that 70% of hazardous material in landfills is electronic waste, also known as e-waste? And here's something else to consider. A second-hand computer sounds pretty good to families that cannot afford the latest and greatest. These kinds of motivations inspired engineer Eric Lundgren to start a computer recycling business. You may not know this, but every Microsoft computer comes with a free, that's right, I said free, restore disk. The original owner may also download a free copy with the aid of a product key, if it hasn't been lost. This allows you to reinstall the operating system. Now, here's something else you need to know. There is no Windows operating system on a restored computer because the hard drive has been wiped clean. Microsoft actually expects us to buy a new license with a fresh product key comparable in cost to a new computer. Engineers are problem solvers, so Eric Lundgren came up with a solution. He and his partners hired a Chinese company to produce 28,000 Microsoft-compatible restore disks. Lundgren originally intended to sell them to other recyclers, but he never actually did. Nevertheless, his solution did not sit well with the tech giant, which took Lundgren to court and got him sentenced to 15 months in prison for copyright violation. I can relate to this. There used to be a computer recycling ministry in my community. It offered services similar to Goodwill, but its product was computers instead of previously owned clothing or furniture. But that was, what, maybe 10 years ago? It's not around anymore. Here's something else to consider. What if Microsoft's licensing approach was applied to the automobile industry? Then we would not be allowed to sell a used car. Why? The copyright on the engine, or something else, could not be transferred to a new owner. Ridiculous. I believe the laws in this country should reflect the wishes of the American people, not the greed of deep-pocketed interests that can easily afford to lobby our legislators. It could be argued that due to its unquestioned market dominance, Microsoft is simply a monopoly, like the electric company. How about government oversight to provide more protection to the public? Are any candidates for the midterm election listening? As far as I'm concerned, Eric Lundgren is a hero, both for his environmental enterprise and for his interest in helping the technologically needy. Perhaps his example will trigger common sense changes to existing law. I hope so. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. 